Well, it's over. It is. It's done. The snowmobile winter season has ended, and it was six months of just amazing times out here. And I've got to get ready. I, I have to get this camp ready to survive summer. And uh, there's quite a few things that I need to do, and I've, I've got to make sure that I'm going to have enough power for the summer. I've got to make sure that I've got everything out of there that I'm, I'm worried that maybe mice or, or bugs can get into. And I want to uh, make sure that my, my RBM Pentagon five-man tent is strong enough to stand up for a full year. I'm going to do it. It's the ultimate test. I don't think the manufacturer wants me to do it, but I'm doing it anyways. I believe in that tent. So yeah, today's a, it's a busy day and I think it's going to be a, a, a fun video. And so yeah, I've, I've got lots to do. So let's, uh, let's get at it. So I got this new Jackery here. It's a Jackery Explore 3000 Pro. And as you guys know, I use Jackery's all the time and I'm going to uh, keep it here. Uh, for the summer. This is going to be my summer power source. One awesome thing about this unit is that it's good to minus 20 Celsius. So that's perfect. That's like the coldest rating they have for one of their uh, one of their solar generators. And I'm really pumped about having this out here in the extreme cold because there comes times when I come out here and I have to let the jackeries warm up before I can use them. And so with that temperature rating i'm really really pumped look i use these things if you watch my channel you will rarely see me out at camp without a jackery uh, i've been with these guys for a while and when they said they had a 3000 pro i said yeah it's big and powerful and uh it's exactly what i want out here i like to bring cases of water at this time of year because I don't like carrying water when I hike out here in the summertime. Just too heavy. So, bring out a, three or four cases and uh, they do me well. This bag of splits right here is my emergency bag of splits. And I've been uh, just storing this underneath of my my bed all year long just in case I don't have splits handy and I'm in a real panic and I need to get the fire started right away I've got my emergency kit right here ready to go I'm gonna burn off whatever gas is in here right now And there's nothing. Just a little bit. Okay. So I've completely drained the line of, of propane. Okay. I've learned that using a solar generator when you have the snow reflecting the sun 
Man, it's like the ultimate input. It's beautiful out here, it's beautiful. The wind is cold though, I have to say the wind is cold. The first few years I camped, I did not bring any sort of backup power and I ran into problems a lot. And people started recommending that I look into external batteries. I ended up in contact with Jackery and here I am a couple of years later, just really happy to use them. So anyway, this is my first Jackery video in a long time. And uh, I decided I want to take a little bit of a break and because I have, I have Jackery's, right? But once the 3000 came, it was a no-brainer for me. I really wanted to get my hands on this unit because if I ever get to build a cabin, it's something like this that's gonna power the build. Oh. Wow, what an amazing season this has been. The snowball season has been phenomenal. I even got a trip back home to Labrador and uh, I can't complain. There were nice additions to this tent, the oven, Jerry's stove now full time, using the small stove, the Woodsman stove from Northwoods Fabrication. I really feel like I'm set up beautifully here. It's a perfect little setup for one person to come out, find a little bit of peace, a little bit of comfort um, and you know, just be in nature and, you know, just be around a wood stove and, and try to keep myself warm and fed, especially when it's super cold outside. I love it. But yeah, that cabin, man, it's calling. And a big reason why I want a cabin too is because I think it would just be more comfortable for my kids, more comfortable for Crystal, and it would just be me fulfilling a lifelong dream like this. I remember the first night that I slept in this as a structure with the walls up. I was very emotional that night because I really did almost see it as like I, I got my cabin. You know what I mean? And uh, it's pretty darn close, but of course it's super drafty in here <laughs> when it's minus 40 outside. Holy smokes, it can be cold. Even with the stove cranking, you've got it like the, the draft underneath the door is ridiculous, but. You know, it's not a permanent structure. It's just, it's almost like a tilt, right? It's almost like a trapper's tilt out in the middle of the bush somewhere. And uh, boy, do I ever love being out here and, and breathing in that fresh air and drinking my instant coffee and snacking on chocolate. And today I'm having uh, Smarties. And I think Smarties are better than M&Ms, personally. M&Ms are good. The chocolate is a bit stronger, I think, whereas with Smarties, it's almost like a milk chocolate. I loved Smarties when I was a kid. Holy. And I would probably, I would organize the colors. And uh, from time to time, I would eat my red ones last. There's no red ones in these. These are like old. These are like Halloween Smarties that I'm eating here now. My kid left them in the cupboard. Mine now. And delicious. really soft to go through. It might be rotten. Oh yeah. It's rotten at the base, but hopefully it's it's okay up top. And you can see how how bulbous it is here at the bottom. That's probably just all waterlogged. But I'm going to make use of it. I will burn that wood. I will burn that wood. Oh yeah. He's really rotten. But there's burnable wood there. There really is.
I'm gonna try something a little bit stupid here. Might as well. Can I pull this out from here, from underneath this tent? The thing is, is I've got a stove in there. <laughs> Things are falling. Okay. Oh yeah. Hopefully, oh, I wasn't thinking. I might've cracked my pole. I cracked the pole right there. I wasn't even thinking, I, sh I just wasn't thinking. Okay, that stove's coming down. This bed is, this sleeping bag is coming out. I'm gonna secure it and we're good to go. If you were to ask the manufacturer, I'm sure they'd say this tent is not made for this. In fact, I know they would. They would say, look, you can't leave a tent up for 12 months like this. I'll check on it this summer a couple of times just to make sure everything is okay and there's no real mold issues. Worst case scenario, if it starts to become a problem, I'll pack it up this summer, put it in the canoe, and I'll canoe my way over to my other tent and I'll just leave it there. I think a bird was on top of the tent and picking at the top because there's a little hole in the top of the tent. So that's unfortunate. Now I've got this pole messed up a bit. I might have to order another one from RBM. Kind of cracked off here. It'll still work. It slides right in. There we go. Make sure it's straight. Can't see it. Uh, I can't see it coming undone. Can't see this blowing over. Maybe. Would have to be some extreme winds. I like coming out here and doing different things and I haven't cooked on this in such a long time and yeah man it's just it's enjoyable I have to say so I'm gonna have a sausage this is my late afternoon snack and um, yeah that didn't take long at all
First day with the Jackery and I'm beating it up already. Just testing out how tough it is. And I can tell you that it took a beating coming out here. Normally I would have these things in the boxes with all the foam padding around them. But I decided today to check this thing out in terms of its durability and how tough it is. I don't mind that it's scraped up a bit. I think it gives it a bit of character and it shows that it's being used. And it's also telling me that it's a pretty darn tough unit. I'd love to hear from you guys about this season and what you thought of it. I, uh, I had an amazing time and, and I, I just would like to hear about some of the stuff that you guys really enjoyed this year. Some of the videos that really, you know, struck a chord with you and maybe some of the videos that you'd like to see me do in the future, whether it be snowmobile or in the spring or in the summer or in the fall. And, uh, you know, I am a, I'm a tent guy a little bit here. I'm a, I'm a tent guy, I guess you could say. That's, my channel is based on me being at my tent or going out in some of the RBM tents. That's where I am right now. And yeah, I, I just like to hear from you guys about some of the, uh, some of the videos you'd maybe like to see me try. And I don't want to go, I don't want to stray too far from what I've already established as a channel. I mean, there's a part of me that would like to really explore um, different cabins and tents and meet people who do this um, all over the north right that would be a dream for me to do that and just like visit people and meet them and and show how they do it um, I did that this winter in Labrador I I uh, went to uh, the stove makers uh, cabin and that was a beautiful video then I went to my buddy's cabin for caveman week and I just got to really enjoy making videos with them and it's been like five years of me making videos by myself, pretty much. So yeah, I, I've, I've thought about expanding in that way. Like, hey, maybe I could just go meet more people and uh, show what they do. And maybe I can learn from them. Maybe we can learn from them together. And maybe we can teach them a few tricks, right? So anyway, it's, it's a thought. It's a thought. And I'm always thinking about the future of the channel. And so I, I, I would love your input for sure. And, um, and yeah, I, I would love to hear what you guys think about, um, what you guys thought about this winter season and, um, yeah, some of the videos that, that you particularly enjoyed and maybe some videos that you'd like to see me do in the future. Anyway, I'm packing up. I'm getting out of here. I'm going to go see my girlfriend. It's her last night in town for a long time. She's traveling and, uh, I sure do love this tent. I do, don't get me wrong, but I love my girl too. So I, I'm gonna surprise her, I'm gonna go back. I told her I was gonna sleep out here tonight, but I'm thinking about her, I wanna go see her. So I'm gonna tear this down, I'm gonna pack it all up, I'm gonna get out of here. And you know what, before you know it, I'll be back. I will be back, I'm sweating by the way. If you guys can see beads of sweat on my forehead, I'm just like, whoo, that little stove is cranking. Anyway, if you guys like this video, I'd love for you to hit like and if you, uh, you know, if you if you want to subscribe, that would be wicked. I would love for you to subscribe. I, I love this channel. Uh, I love making videos. It's like outside of my family and, you know, my, my girlfriend. This is like the most important thing to me in my life. Um, I, I really do love it. I, I It's, it's a, a, a deep passion of mine. And uh, I can't do it without you guys. So anyway, I don't want to get too emotional on you guys. But yeah, anyway... That's it for this video. I'll be back really soon.